Unraveling the mystery. Finding the square root. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of mathematics and the English language. Finding the square root. This concept is not only pivotal in math but also a great example of how language and numbers intersect. So, whether you're learning English, math, or both, you're in the right place. Let's unravel this mystery together and make it as simple as pi. Finding the square root is a mathematical operation. It means discovering the number that, when multiplied by itself, gives you the original number. For example, if we're trying to find the square root of 16, we're looking for a number that, when multiplied by itself, equals 16. The answer is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. Understanding how to find the square root is crucial in various fields, including geometry, algebra, and even everyday problem solving. It helps us in calculating areas, especially of squares, understanding patterns and relationships between numbers, solving real-life problems, like determining the right size of a garden plot. There are several methods to find the square root of a number, but we'll focus on the simplest one, guess and check. 1. Guess a number that might be the square root. 2. Square that number, multiply it by itself. 3. Check if the result is too high, too low, or just right. 4. Adjust your guess based on the check and repeat until you find the square root. For perfect squares like 16, 25, or 36, you can memorize the square roots, 4, 5, and 6, respectively. But for others, using a calculator or learning more advanced methods might be necessary. Let's try finding the square root of 25 together. 1. We guess the number 5 might be the square root. 2. We square 5, 5 by 5, and get 25. 3. We check and see that 25 is our original number. So 5 is the square root of 25. Encourage viewers to practice with other numbers, using both methods we discussed, to become more comfortable with the concept. Congratulations on taking this step to better understand finding the square root. This knowledge not only enhances your math skills but also deepens your understanding of the English language used in math contexts. Keep practicing, stay curious, and never hesitate to explore more topics. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has been enlightening. See you in the next one!